Fox. The National Cesar Chavez Center at Keene held a swearing-in ceremony today for new citizens. But those new residents were locked out of that building because of the government shutdown. 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams is here in studio with that story. Lindsay? Thanks, Todd. 20 new residents from six different nations took the oath of allegiance in the building behind the Cesar Chavez Center. Even though the federally funded center isn't open right now because of the shutdown, it didn't stop the new citizens from enjoying their special day. Fellow citizen of the United States of America, you can help write the next great chapter in our American story. It feels really good. I'm going to be able to vote in federal election and participate more. I would like to try to have a Europe and on American passport, you don't have to ask for a visa and all those stuff. When we asked the new citizens about their pathway to citizenship, they told us it was a long and difficult process. The fact that it is something hard to do and it's something that's expensive to do also, I think that just pushes you to try to accomplish it even more than if it was just handed off to you. Pedro Florentino Cruz. Directors with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services say they hold swearing-in naturalization ceremonies every day in the U.S., and each one is special. I still get very emotional because I know what the people have gone through to get to this final step and how important it is. When you look into the eyes of the applicants as they sit there, it is just inspiring. Immigrants harvest our fruits and vegetables probably one of the most hardest, most difficult jobs in our nation, and they're proud of doing that, and so we want to lift them up. The president of the Cesar Chavez Foundation says today is an especially fitting day to hold a swearing-in ceremony on the one-year anniversary of President Obama's visit on the day of the proclamation that established the Cesar Chavez National Monument. You know, if you look at my father's life and work, he always believed in the greatness of this nation, and he believed that it offered opportunities to people to come and, and to work hard and to strengthen in the economies, but he also knew that immigrants also strengthen the, uh, the diversity. Immigration service directors say you're encouraged to come out and witness naturalization ceremonies and says they're a good thing and help to strengthen our community. In the studio, Lindsay Adams, 23ABC.